Hi, welcome to another video. While everyone was waiting for the launches from OpenAI, to be honest, the launches from OpenAI are quite mediocre till now. They launched the O1 full model on the first day, which is just so underwhelming for me that I didn't do a video on it. And the nail in the coffin for not doing the video was the O1 Pro mode that costs $200. I mean, who is paying this price for quite a mediocre reasoning model? Just use DeepSeek R1 or QWQ for literally free. The new O1 full model is not even available on API either. So, it just seems that they are rushing or something. Anyway, the next day, they announce that companies can now apply through a form to get O1 trained on their stuff. I mean, if this is considered a launch, then every waitlist form on any site can be considered a launch. But anyway, this video is not about them. Because while everyone was hyping OpenAI, Meta came and just launched their new model called Llama 3.370B. So let's talk about it. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Paying for models from different providers costs a lot of money these days, but you can save a lot of money on your membership costs by using Ninja Chat. It gives you access to latest models from Anthropic, OpenAI, Gemini, and even image or video generation models like Flux and Kling, all in one place, for a price that just starts from $11. They have a bunch of tools to use these models in intricate ways like the AI Playground feature, which allows you to compare multiple models in one place by sending one prompt to multiple models from multiple providers, which is really great. They also have a bunch of other tools as well, like writing tools, a mind map generator, and even a new artifacts feature. So, you can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. It is a new model by them, and it claims to match the performance of Llama 3.1405B. They say that it is an auto-regressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. These models are made with supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning by human feedback like what Athene Phi 2 was trained with. This model is basically a fine-tuned version of the Llama 3.170B model that they had released previously. So, this is great to see. If we look at the benchmarks, then in the MMLU, the updates are not as significant, while in other benchmarks like Human Evil, IFEVAL, and GPQA, it shows some major great improvements. It also supports function calling as well, which is also great to see. The model is available on Hugging Face and is also available on Olama. So, you can use it quite easily locally. The model comes under the same license structure as Llama 3.1 or any other ones that you see. There's no blog post about it either, and there's just this Hugging Face page that they have linked in their Twitter posts. The model is available on Together AI, Hyperbolic, and GLHF. So, you can try it out for free from any of these platforms. I'll be trying it out from GLHF, as that's the unquantized version. So, let's get started, and let's test it out. These are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. The first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Leah. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer to this could be Canberra, or any capital of a country whose name ends with Leah. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and it's correct. So, let's mark it as a pass. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three, because it rhymes with tree. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer, and it's correct. So, let's mark it as a pass. 
The next question is, there are five people in a house, A, B, C, D, and E. A is watching TV with B, D is sleeping, B is eating a sandwich, and E is playing table tennis. Suddenly, a call comes on the telephone. B went out of the room to pick up the call. What is C doing? The answer should be that it cannot tell because it isn't mentioned, or I'll even accept if it says that C is playing table tennis with E. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's generating the answer. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So, it gave the answer that C is playing table tennis with E, which can be correct in this scenario. So, I'll give it a pass. Now, the next question is, Name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has eleven letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is not correct. So, this is a fail. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's mark this as a pass. Now the next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's mark it a pass. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Okay. Here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's mark this as a pass. The next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is correct. So, this is a pass. Now, the next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if I run it, then this works pretty well. So, this is a pass. Now the next question is, create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. Let's run it and check. Okay, this works pretty well. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. So, this looks pretty much like a butterfly. So, this is a pass. The next one is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure that the landing page looks sleek and modern. You can use HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's now done. And if we preview this, then you can see that this looks pretty good. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Here's the code. Let's run it and check. Okay. This works. So, this is also a pass. Now, this is the final chart. So, this model is extremely good. It is way better than the old Llama 3.170B and even better than Quen 2.5 for me because it is like really a good model. I think that the post training of these models makes them really good because Athene also did the same thing on Quen and got better results but this is by Meta themselves, and they have done a really good job here. I think this will be the best open LLM to use for me. I would like to see an 8B and 405B fine-tuned model 
as well by them. And I think the 405B can outperform the likes of GPT-40 and be very close to Claude if done right. I think Meta has really cooked something good here, and I'll be using this model a lot. And this is surely the best open source LLM I have seen yet. Quen has gone to waters now, and Llama is really back in the game. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.